how far back does your left arm really go in the golf swing? Let's find out. This is number two in the series on keeping your arm straight in, getting a deep back turn. You can click at the end or click here to see the whole series. Now, how far back does your lead arm go in the uh, golf turn? Most people have no idea. So I'm gonna borrow the simple drill from uh, really stretch exercise so you can get some idea. Just take your arm, level it up, bring it across your chest and now bend it. Put your other arm here and pull it across. As you can see, this is as far as your arm actually goes. See, it's not going flat across, it's very small amount. You can just take it, pull up here, and pull it across. This will give you some idea how far your arm should go. I notice if I get down in a golf stance and do that exercise, look at what my arm looks like. This is the same drill, but now I'm down in a golf stance. So I'm pulled it across. Now I turn. And you see how little my arm goes across? Well, I'm not very flexible. I'll admit that up front. I can't get that like John Daly look. When I add a club in my hand, let's see if I can hold it one-handed. Let's see how far back it will go. So I'm gonna pull it across and get in my golf swing. See, that's kind of my top of the back swing position. Not kind of, it is. You notice, or I hope you notice, that my arm is really not in that, or club, it's not parallel with the ground. It's really pointing up. I've got a really short back swing and that's because I just don't have a lot of flexibility in my shoulder. But I'm like a, most people, most people are not that flexible, particularly my age. So you've got to learn to work with what you've got. So this is your first drill is kind of get that mental image out of your head that your club has got to go way far back, that it's got to get level with the ground. You've really just got to work with what you've got. Mm -hmm. 